Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So this is our recurring segment called From Niche to SaaS in 10 Minutes. And today we'll be building a small SaaS around Sora 2, which is trending extremely high and everybody's talking about it. And all of the TikToks and Instagrams are filled with Sora 2 visuals and videos. So let's get started. First off, let me just go to the Niche Hunter course inside of my school community. And I've been recently playing with this amazing in Genspark prompt to uncover a manifestation niche. You can watch that video and we'll be reusing that prompt once again because it's very powerful and I use it all the time. For this we need Genspark and we need Genspark's browser version because it has better MCP, it has playwright integration and stuff like that. So let's paste in the prompt and I will substitute the how to manifest, which was our last video's niche, to Sora 2, focusing on relevant communities and industry-specific subreddits, 2025 data only. And then I'm asking Genspark to rank these pain points based on frequency of mention and gap frequency of mention being popularity and likes and gap is basically that pain point not being fully addressed by the market so let's see what happens okay so these are the pain points and mind you not all of them are going to be easy to make a SAS around or feasible so let me just first read through them one by one and then I will decide if we have anything that we can start working on. Having said that all of these pain points are 100% legit so if you want to write blog post articles you can doesn't have to be a SAS necessarily. So pain point one broken workflow between old Sora and Sora 2. Description users can only access old Sora Constant 3 secret button and cannot browse old and new Sora simultaneously. They need to use external tools like Notepad as middleman to transfer prompts between versions. Why the gap isn't met? OpenAI designed two separate interfaces without integration. Solution A browser extension or a simple web app that allows users to view both old and new Sora libraries, one click prompt transfer between versions batch export import of prompts and projects. So this is uh, solid uh, as far as a pain point, but I don't think I'll be able to create this uh, easily. Pain point number two, invite code scarcity and scam ecosystem. Legitimate paying customers can't access Sora 2 while random free users get invite codes. This created a secondary market where people sell codes leading to widespread scams. Solution, a verified community platform that connects verified ChatGPT users who have codes with those who need them. Okay, not interested. Pain point three, overlay aggressive constant moderation, moderation breaking creative workflows. Sora 2's constant moderation flags innocent creative content as violations, breaking user workflows mid-creation. Even basic uh, character interactions or popular fiction characters get blocked. No tool exists to help users craft prompts that avoid false positives. A prompt optimization tool, that, that is the proposed solution, that analyzes prompts for potential content violations, suggests alternative phrasings, community database of safe versus flagged prompt patterns, real-time prompt safety checker before submission. Okay, this one is actually interesting. In order for this to be useful, I would have to run a separate research session just to get those uh, best practices and whatnot. Pain point four, memory intensive browser performance issues. No. Pain point five, regional access limitations. US can't only. This is more a VPN solution. <laughs> Inconsistent service reliability. Frequent something went wrong errors. Yeah, so I kind of made up my mind already. I'm more interested in uh, this pain point. So what I'll do, let me quickly switch over to perplexity. Let me choose deep research and I'll only fetch from social. Collect anything that you can as far as live hacks and best practices to tackle the below pain point. Okay, uh, so this is what Perplexity has suggested life hacks and best practices for tackling overly aggressive content. Current best practice involves a combination of prompt rephrasing, context shifting, use of expert prompt optimization templates, sharing within community safe flag prompt database, and a trial and error workflow. Prompt rephrasing 
avoiding red flags, terms and patterns, utilize prompt engineering templates, communities, sourced, safe flag prompts database, real-time iterative checking, awaiting uh, and advocating for two solutions. Well, I don't think uh, it was good enough for us to use, I mean, the perplexity research. So I'll just go ahead and get back to Genspark and say, based on pain point number three, read me a detailed prompt to make a web app inside of bolt.new. And while this is running, let's actually do that. Go to bolt.new. Mm -hmm. So let's copy this go back to bolt.new and this app is supposed to be called SOAR2 Prompt Safety Checker. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I had to add the prompt rewriting mechanism, otherwise uh, what's the point? This is a prompt that I tried using on SOAR and it got flagged. A hot girl in a see-through tiny bikini stepping from the pool. Let's generate a safe version. A woman in a stylish swimsuit stepping out of a pool, water glistening on her skin. The scene is bright and summery with a focus on the beauty of the natural settings and blah, blah, blah. So let's see if this passes the filter. Okay, so this is a prompt that got flagged, as I told you. A hot girl in a see-through bikini stepping up from the pool. And these are two suggestions by this tool. On this is the first one, a woman in a stylish swimsuit stepping out of a pool, water glistening on her skin. The scene is bright and summery with a focus on the beauty of the natural setting. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And this is the second one. A model in an elegant one-piece swimsuit exiting a luxurious resort pool. And it's actually see-through enough. So obviously this tool needs more work and it's not perfect, but it does the job and it's currently based on a very high unmet pain point and gap with Sora 2 creators. All the prompts, everything is gonna be in my Niche Hunter course. Again, this is a recurring theme, Niche to Sass in 10 minutes. The previous one was a very nicely done manifestation Niche idea. This is gonna be the Sora 2 idea and I plan on doing this on a weekly. So in a couple of months, you have a lot of new niches and new SaaS ideas to try. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon. Cheers.